Neuro is an American robotic company founded by David Ferguson and Jia Zhu in 2016. Since then, its team has grown to more than 200 people and it has raised more than $1 billion in financing. According to CB Insights, the company is currently valued at $8.6 billion, making it one of the most highly valued private companies in the world. And Mr. Ferguson is a billionaire. As a result, Neuro is operating in a tiny niche, each about the size of a bread box, but with wheels instead of legs, and has deployed them just once. In October, it delivered 800 pounds of ice cream in Texas over a one mile route. Although it wasn't clear whether the customers who ordered the ice cream were the same ones who got their delivery. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Before we begin today's episode, you may want to turn on the notification bell and the subscribe button for more videos like this. Keep watching to find out all you need to know about this story. Neuro's approach is thoughtful and practical. Many autonomous vehicle startups have an engineer's orientation. Solve problems, make progress, build momentum. But what matters most to users is how the technology affects them. And sometimes a simple change can make a big difference. In late 2015, Alphabet's self-driving car subsidiary Waymo launched a ride service in the Phoenix area, where they were testing their technology. After some initial publicity, they dropped off the radar. News stories implied that they were trying to see if their cars could drive themselves. They were testing to see how people could use their vehicles and what improvements they needed to make to their service. Ferguson and Zoo seemed like good partners and wanted Neuro to be human-centered. Then, Neuro was born. Neuro's new delivery robot will include external airbags for pedestrians as it navigates city streets by combining elements of a self-driving car and a drone, according to Bloomberg. The startup is testing the robot, which looks like a cooler on wheels in Nevada. It's the first public test of the startup's technology and comes with safety features such as external airbags that deploy if the bot detects an object in its path. A person will monitor the bot from afar using a remote control application. The goal is to deliver packages within half an hour with a fleet of bots operating in each city. The company is working with local governments and businesses to determine what kinds of deliveries are possible, said Neuro co-founder Dave Ferguson. Neuro isn't alone in trying to reinvent the delivery experience. Amazon has been working on drones, Uber wants to deliver food using self-driving cars, and Postmates and others have experimented with robots that can carry packages up a flight of stairs. Every one of these innovations offers tremendous promise and various challenges along the way. From navigating complex environments to designing for human interaction that need to be addressed successfully. The company announced that a new delivery robot unveiled in 2018 by California startup Neuro would include external airbags that help cushion pedestrians. The bot, which has been given the name R2-D2 by the media, is designed to autonomously deliver items from local stores to customers' doors. It was revealed at a technology conference in Los Angeles and has been described as a shopping cart on wheels. Ferguson said that one of the most challenging parts of developing the robot was ensuring that it would be safe for pedestrians, who he said are likely to be unfamiliar with seeing robots in their daily lives. The airbags were developed in response to this concern. As well as the two airbags on the front of each side of the machine, R2-D2 will also have four laser range finders and four cameras that together form a 360 degree view around the robot. A human operator will control R2-D2 remotely via an app and will be required to monitor it at all times. Google's first autonomous vehicle is a self-driving delivery robot with room inside for groceries. The vehicle will be used to deliver food and other goods in partnership with retailers, beginning in Arizona later this year. It's been built at the Neuro offices in Mountain View, California, and is equipped with 360 degree cameras, GPS, LiDAR, and radar sensors. These sensors allow the robot to create a 3D map of its surroundings and detect obstacles like moving vehicles and pedestrians, who are also communicated via signs on the side of the vehicle. Neuro, the delivery company started by two ex-Google engineers, is unveiling its new delivery vehicle today, really built by engineers. 
It's a cute bug-eyed robot on six wheels with a front-mounted camera that can autonomously pull up to your door and deliver things within a six mile radius of one of its fulfillment centers. The neuro vehicles can only go 25 miles per hour, so they won't be able to travel much faster than you could on foot. And since they're autonomous, they'll make deliveries even when it's too dangerous for people to drive. Think blizzards and riots. The company says they'll eventually have a human operator inside the vehicle who can take control if needed. If those limitations sound a little boring, don't worry. Neuro is hoping everyone will want to hitch rides in the robots for self-driving car experiences. The company will make some of its vehicles available to rent for an undisclosed fee through a mobile app at first, so you can use them just like an Uber or a Lyft ride. The company has also designed the wheel cargo case that you can put anything in up to 25 pounds in weight. It's modeled after dog carriers, so it looks like something your pet would fit comfortably inside. Although the number of cars has steadily increased, the amount of driving has not. The average number of miles driven in the country peaked in the mid 2000s and has declined since then. And yet, the number of pedestrian deaths has increased dramatically over this time period. This is because of both the rise in walking and an increase in driving by young drivers, who are more likely to be involved in a crash than other drivers. The average age of drivers has also been increasing steadily, which almost certainly contributes to this trend. With SUVs and light trucks comprising over 70% of the domestic auto market, they are now the primary culprits in pedestrian fatalities. The increase in pedestrian deaths is partially attributable to a rise in fatal SUV accidents with pedestrians. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration reports that there were 4,280 traffic fatalities involving SUVs in 2016, which was a 2.7% increase from 2015. This was a significant increase from 2014 when there were 3,630 pedestrian fatalities involving SUVs. All of their vehicles will be equipped with sensors that will allow the human to take control at any point. In an ideal world, there would be no need for human backup driving, but it's clear that Neuro recognizes the limitations of its self-driving technology. The biggest limitation right now is that the vehicle can't make left turns. That's because the sensors require your line of sight to work, so they can't detect things on the left side of the road. In addition, a human driver will be required if there are no lane markings or changes in elevation, or if an object is blocking the sensor's view. And finally, if another vehicle cuts in front of a neuro vehicle, say, it crashes, then again, a human driver would take over. Nevertheless, the future is bright for neuro. Their vehicles are designed to be safe, efficient, and anonymous. When you talk to our customers on the phone, they say they like how easy it is to find out where the delivery will be, and then when the delivery arrives, they describe it as cute, quiet, and fast. The people who interact with these vehicles love them, and that has been a great experience for them. Neuro is still constantly looking at ways to make their vehicle easier to operate and more fun to deliver in the future. Neuro is also looking for ways to improve the customer experience, which includes making the vehicle easier to control and interact with for our delivery partners. For example, we have been working on voice delivery so that our customers can order their food through voice assistants like Amazon Alexa or Google Home. In addition, we are looking into ways of communicating with customers through LEDs, on the vehicle, and other ideas that we are excited about. Thanks for watching guys, we have come to the end of today's show. What's your favorite feature? It's a loaded question, but I'm gonna take it. My favorite thing about Neuro is hands down the delivery experience. What's yours? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to get notified when a new video is out. See you in the next video guys.